This free step-by-step -step video comes to you directly from Haynes, creators of the world's best repair manuals. After the pan has finished Fix your draining, car or truck the right way remove the with remaining our accurate bolts and reliable and information at your side. You can complete more than 200 jobs on this remove vehicle the filter when you by purchase pulling the complete down. online manual at Haynes.com. Pull the hood release lever located on the driver's side kick panel. Slide the hood safety latch and raise the hood upwards. Support the hood with the prop rod. Apply the handbrake. Chalk the rear wheels to prevent the vehicle from rolling. Then raise the front of the car and support it on jack stands. Position a container capable of holding at least 5 quarts under the transaxle oil pan. Loosen, but don't remove, the pan bolts. Now remove the bolts on each side of the pan, leaving two bolts loosely in place on the upper and lower sides of the pan. Tap the corners of the pan using a soft-faced mallet to break the seal and allow the fluid to drain into the container. After the pan has finished draining, remove the remaining bolts and detach the pan. Remove the filter by pulling it straight down. Also remove the o-ring seal. Carefully remove all traces of old sealant from the pan, transaxle body and the bolts. Be careful not to nick or gouge the sealing surfaces. Clean the pan and the magnet located inside the pan with a clean, lint-free cloth moistened with solvent. Don't forget to place the magnet back in its proper location at the bottom of the pan. Fit the new filter in place with a new O-ring installed on the transaxle valve body. Apply a 1 8 inch bead of RTV sealant to the pan sealing surface, staying on the inboard side of the bolt holes. Also apply RTV sealant to the underside of each bolt head. Position the pan on the transaxle and install the bolts. Tighten the transaxle pan bolts to the specified torque setting, following a crisscross pattern. Work up to the final torque in three or four steps. Also allow the RTV sealant time to dry according to the manufacturer's instructions. Lower the car to the ground Unblock the wheels. Remove the transaxle dipstick and add four quarts of the correct type of new fluid to the transaxle, using a funnel to prevent spills. Start the engine and allow it to idle for at least two minutes while checking for leakage around the pan. When the engine is idling, depress the brake pedal and move the selector lever through all of the gear ranges, pausing for a couple of seconds in between beginning and ending in park. Check the fluid level on the dipstick. The level should be just up to the add mark. If necessary, add more fluid, a little at a time, until the level is just above the add mark. Drive the vehicle until it reaches normal operating temperature. Recheck the fluid level and add more as necessary until the fluid reaches the hot range on the dipstick. Do not overfill the transaxle. Never allow the fluid level to go above the upper end of the cross-hatched area on the dipstick. It could cause internal transaxle damage. The best way to prevent overfilling is to add a fluid a little at a time, 
driving the vehicle and checking the level between additions. Insert the dipstick fully into the tube. Turn off the engine. After the pan has finished draining, remove the remaining bolts and detach the pan. Remove the filter by pulling it straight down. Also remove the o-ring seal.